back again to my channel in case this is your first time of stopping here my name is Anikan and I'm a 200 level medical student studying in Nigeria I decided to put up a poll on my channel where I asked you guys what content you wanted I put medical content and um, how to pass work a majority of you voted for medical content so here I am guys to give you all the medical content that you need anyway no shades to anybody who wants work tips work tips are already on my channel so you can check that out but anyway guys in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys some of the textbooks i use for studying anatomy today i'm going to be starting with gross i'm just going to tell you everything about anatomy in general so we are going to be talking about gross we're going to be talking about embryology we're going to be talking about histology basically it's going to be a series because i don't want to put everything in one video so we're going to be talking about anatomy today then maybe next time i upload will be on physiology and next time i upload will be on biochemistry so guys i have textbook recommendation because this track has allowed me the ability to explore different textbooks try out different things and try and like find out what works for me Now, the first thing I'll always say is that medical students, we, we tend to develop some sort of attachments to textbooks. You hear things like, uh, I don't understand. The only textbook I understand is Kate Small and it's only that one. Please don't do that to yourself, to be honest. I'll advise you to read different textbooks. Use your textbooks as tools. Like I always tell myself, I use my textbook as tools. So what that simply means is that if I'm reading a topic in Kate Small and I don't understand it, I would not attach any sentimental value to, okay, because it's Kate Small I've been using for other ones, that means I most certainly use Kate Small. No, I'm going to try another textbook and try and understand it. I believe that, especially for this second and third year, the main thing is to build up foundation. So if you would have to use different textbooks in order to build up this foundation, then you should Please don't limit yourself to one textbook. I believe medical students should read different textbooks, especially for physiology, especially. But and even sorry, and even anatomy too. I feel like you should try different things. So, but these are some of the textbooks I tried, and yeah, I'm going to talk to you about it. So, guys, I'm going to start with the one I have in hard copy here, which is um bd charusia i have this bd charusia comes in i think three or four volumes so we have upper limb and thorax abdomen pelvis perineum in one then um head and neck and neuroanatomy in the other one so it comes in this lecture series and indian books i know some people have um some sort of disdain like you don't trust indian books but i i honestly think that indian books are good i've read bd charusia upper limb and a bit of lower limb and I feel like this textbook is mainly for exam because it comes with outlines. And these are, if you're going to be writing essays, like for us in my school, in our professional exam, we have to write essays. So, and in order for you to write this essay, you must have some form of outline on how you want the essay to look like. Like, okay, if they ask you to write on the cubital fossa, you have to talk, describe the structure, you have to borders, you have to talk about the borders, you have to talk about the content, you have to talk about the, like, basically, there's an outline to go with it, then maybe you can explain each of the content, then maybe you can also, well, I know, last, last, in your whole essay you have to conclude it with um, clinical correlate and i think that's the beautiful thing bd charizia does it explains it like how you would write in an exam this is the steps in which you take in writing it in an exam so it comes with outline and i loved that book because it was one of the first books i read so i actually love it but that is not really my main love like guys my love have just been like switching Today, I'm hating on BD. Tomorrow, I love BD. Like, today, I hate gray. Tomorrow, I love gray. Well, that is what's happening to me now. I certainly love gray's anatomy at this point. I have been reading gray's anatomy a lot. Like, I don't know. Like, I was telling a friend of mine that I don't even know where this sudden love came from. I actually love gray's anatomy. I read it a lot. So, gray's anatomy doesn't come with outline as 
it's not as outlined as bd charizia but what i love great anatomy for is that it takes its time to explain bit by bit i don't have that one in hard copy i have it in soft copy if you i wouldn't recommend that you get all the textbooks except if you're rich and or you have anyway it's not a matter of being rich except if you have the money too you can get all of them but i'll advise you to have one in hard copy then the rest in soft copy so if you want me to tell you how i get some of my soft copy materials some of them are transferred some of them you get them from telegram some of them you get them from pd drive pdf drive there are a lot of plenty plugs for getting so you even find medical textbooks somehow the um, online versions somehow so if you can get that it would really help you a lot and save you some money but anyway guys um i have gray on my tablet and comp so i use gray a lot the thing with gray is that it walks you through each step like how i read i was reading a review and they said it holds your hand and take you step by step through the whole process and that is what gray is known for gray takes its time to explain and one of the beautiful things i love about gray is that it is very aesthetically pleasing like there are a lot of diagrams 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 and for a visual course like gross anatomy i'll advise you to use textbooks that have a lot of diagrams because i cannot be telling you that um the cubital fossa is a transition point between the arm and the between the arm and the forearm and is located in the anterior portion so you have to virtually like see it and i tell you as an inverted triangle you have to i feel like you would have to see it in order to understand it and let it not just be like i'm just spitting words to you so basically that is how why i advise that any textbook you use for a gross anatomy especially should be heavily pictured like filled with lots of pictures it would really help you a lot so i use um gray anatomy gray comes with a lot of pictures and it goes step by step but as you know to all good textbooks there's always some sort of disadvantage uh what i realized with gray's anatomy is that it doesn't have everything like the one i used i use gray's anatomy for students i don't know why but i can't find everything in gray's anatomy but the textbook is really good it's really really good that's why i advise medical students to read various textbooks because you're going to realize that what you can find here you can may not find it here and everything and one other thing with all the textbooks i'm listing is their clinical correlates and um, bd charizia tries it tends to give you a lot of clinical correlate but it doesn't give you like in-depth picture it gives you like brief summary of what you should know but if you want to have like in-depth knowledge of clinical correlation clinical cases i'll advise you to use kate moore kate moore and gray gray also does a beautiful work but i still think that um kate moore is like the um the father of clinical cases then gray is more like the mother of clinical cases so that leads me to the next um, um textbook you can use you can use kate more honestly i don't really like it more but never say never guys like for now i've been going through kate more and i'm like hmm i think i'm going to give this a chance because it looks beautiful i mean the one of the things that discouraged me from kate more is that the words are so jumbled up like oh my god it's like too compressed and whenever a textbook is so compressed for me like it disorientates me so that is why that has been kind of sketchy for me but i think i'm going to try reading kate more and more because i think it has all the pictures i need so what else do i want but it has a lot of clinical correlates oh my god like if you want clinical cases because in our exam you have to give clinical correlations in um, professional exam you have to give clinical correlations and sometimes you might have to they might give you a case our school gives you cases so they might give you a case and you would have to deduce what's clinical feature like they can give you okay somebody um somebody was stabbed in the mid shaft of the humerus what nerve is likely to be damaged um what blood supply so you should know that mid shaft is usually the radial nerve that passes through the radial groove and the um you should also know that the artery that also 
um passes through that point so i feel like you should have a very good understanding of what um cl different cl you should have different um clinical cases on your head like if you should see this what is the likely inference you get if you should see this so and that is what um kit mod does it gives you a lot of clinical correlate clinical cases which are blue boxes and it does a beautiful work compliments to the chef it is beautifully written i really love that book in terms of the clinical cases but i've not been really reading it so much because like i said the words are too much and i feel like it gives so much extra information that me I, i'm not a fan of too much information so guys those are some of the books i use for um gross but of course of course before we proceed i just realized that i almost skipped this book the atlas of human anatomy by frank netta there is no how i feel like this book is one of the most important like this is like the bible in the sense that it has beautiful pictures in it it's beautifully colored so whatever region you're learning it's like in it it is beautifully colored and um, this at last i feel like you would really understand it when you're done with your studying when you just look at the structure and it's like everything clicks honestly i have a bias with this book another um book that i use is the grace atlas actually i use grace atlas because it shows specific things like it takes out the arteries and it takes out the veins and show you like a specific like if i want to see the um muscles in the medial compartments of the thigh like it will only show me that portion and it will not show me the arteries veins and everything because i to me if you're somebody like me i used to feel like it's a lot it's a lot i like step-by-step -step learning so i first learn the muscles then like that's the kind of format i like so um this this one shows you everything all at once so that's why i kind of use grace first but when i'm done with that I'm coming straight to this because this will show you everything at a glance and it is beautifully colored so you, you, you I feel like you can't do anatomy without an atlas because it is very very important if not you find out that you're cramming so so much so like I said experiment with these textbooks find out the one that you really love and stick to it but don't also disregard others don't also disregard others like in as much as I'm reading other textbooks I still have to read bd charisa for my exam because it is just very beautifully outlined and good so another textbook that rivals bd charusia is vishram singh i don't read vishram singh but i heard that it is even better than bd charusia so i advise you to also check that out but i basically have shown you all the textbooks that i use for gross anatomy so guys let's go to the baby the baby of the house which is human embryology okay, that's it guys thank you so much for watching today's episode i didn't want the video to be so so long so guys come back again tomorrow same time for a part two of this series don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button guys thank you